On this episode of It's Me or the Dog, Victoria arrives at a household where time is running out. Melissa and Scott are expecting their first child in just a few months. We're certainly excited to, to have a new baby boy. With the safety of their unborn child at stake, Victoria doesn't have a moment to waste. So tell me, tell me about Bella and her issues. So she's extremely aggressive, especially children. I think that's the main issue with us expecting our first child. Um, she's actually bitten two children. <laughs> We've never really socialized Bella with children, and we actually had a really scary incident happen when my brother and his family were in town visiting us. Um, Bella actually bit my five-year-old nephew. When are you due? In yes. three months. OK. Yes. What do you want me to do? What do you I want to be do? able to keep her and have a newborn and not have to worry about our baby's safety. In addition to that, we want our child's friends to be able to come over. If you don't get her to the point where you feel comfortable, what are you gonna do with her? We would have to find her a good home. That would be our number one priority. My fear is that she may not find a good home. Who's gonna want an aggressive dog? I want to be straight with you about how long this is going to take, about how difficult it could be, and that really it will be a lifetime change. Now you're in the situation where you're about to have a child and you are living with a dog that is aggressive towards strangers and has bitten several children. I mean, it is a little daunting knowing that I'll be getting, I mean, we'll both be getting very little sleep and thinking the last thing I'm going to want to do is have to spend an hour training the dog. You cannot go half-hearted on this training program I'm gonna give you. You cannot, because if you do, somebody's gonna end up getting hurt. I don't think this dog is adoptable. I was gonna ask you about a, like, a Weimaraner yeah, rescue. A lot of rescues won't take a dog with a biting history. Really? It saddens me that you said that you don't think she's adoptable, because I think that, if God forbid, the behaviors don't change, what are we going to do? Now Victoria wants to prepare both dogs for the big change on the horizon. Here I have a very lifelike baby. And I have wrapped it, obviously, in a blanket. And I think it's important that Bella and Dugan get acclimated to the fact that there is going to be another being around. Introducing baby is a vital part of this training. And anything they're gonna do with a newborn, I want them to do with this baby doll. I want Bella to see what it's gonna be like when the real baby arrives. I'm gonna get Bella, and when she comes over and investigates, lots of praise, good girl. Everything positive happens when baby's in the room. It's really important that Bella has great experiences around the baby, so whenever Bella's near the baby, good things happen to Bella. Lots of petting, lots of praise, and a few treats. Hi, girl. Very good. It's oh, good. Yes, that's very Bella. good. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, now take baby out of the blanket. Good girl. All right. When Bella came up, she started kind of sniffing and nosing at the blanket. In my mind, I kind of thought, you know, what if this were a real baby? I would get kind of nervous. There you go. Good. Good Bella. Lovely. Good Bella. When Bella first saw the baby, she was sniffing. She thought, what is this? Is this a toy? It was a little strange for her, and it smelt strange. But all in all, she was calm. Bella seems to have accepted the new addition. Should I ever leave Bella and baby alone? Never. No. Okay. Because that's something that you will never, ever, ever do when baby's here. Reality's staring in the face. A new child is going to be in the picture, and there can't be any mistakes. Now, you're fine in daily life. It's hard. But you have to be vigilant, and you have to manage your environment 100% of the time, especially with a dog like this. Now, let's get Dugan out of the crate. Oh, buddy. Oh, oh, okay, wait a second. No. There's a little bit of protection going on there. Dugan came up and Bella growled. I don't want any of that behavior. I don't want Bella being protective over Melissa, the baby, or the sofa. 
You do find, actually, a lot of dogs become protective of the new baby in the house. And you cannot have that. If she growls, you get up and you walk away. Okay. She is off the sofa. Okay. That behavior is not going to be tolerated. I protect baby, you don't. Okay. Melissa is a very gentle person and she's very gentle with Bella. However, this is a time that Melissa and Scott also need to toughen up. Could you call Dugan up on the sofa? Dugan. Can come on. With Bella curled up over Melissa's shoulder, Scott coaxes Dugan back onto the sofa. <laughs> Emma. Go. That's Go. it. Get Go. off. There you go, good. All right, now sit down. In the past, when Bella gets a little aggressive towards Dugan, I've just kind of ignored it or let it slide. And I think taking this new approach is gonna be really important for me, especially with the baby coming. After just one encounter with the new tougher Melissa and Scott, Bella gets the message. We like that calm behavior. While Victoria tries out different sitting arrangements, Bella remains calm and no longer tries to protect the baby doll or the sofa. Come on. Good boy. Praise her because she didn't boy. growl. Good girl. By the time the baby comes, I want it to be no big deal for both Bella and Dugan. There will be a real habit of behavior already established in the house. See, one big happy family. Mm-hmm. Victoria checks in to see what progress the couple is making. He's crying he's a dirty diaper. He does. Yeah. You get to change it. Melissa and Scott are continuing to desensitize Bella to the baby doll, and this time, they add new scenarios. And here you go. <laughs> Good girl, are you watching? Good girl, we should train her how to do this. Baby practice, this is gonna be crucial for the next few months, and you guys really can't do too much of this. With all the progress that Bella has made, Victoria feels that it's time to accelerate the training and give Bella her ultimate challenge. Scott, you're gonna be working with Bella this time. I just want you to do some focus work in the presence of kids. Okay, this way, girl. No pull. Okay, all right, so she sees the kids. Girl. girl. All right, now get a focus. Watch me. Good, stand aside. You started Bella off at a distance with Scott handling her. If she was calm, she got to go a little bit closer. All right. To test Bella's threshold, Victoria has the children move around. Now no. that's it. Now you see? You can see how movement stimulates her. OK. Bella needs to get used to seeing kids' erratic behavior, to hearing it, to experiencing it, because as soon as they started running around, Bella reacted. <laughs> Turn around. Whenever Bella reacts, Scott removes her to cut through her emotions and regain her focus. Bella, sit. Sit. Don't, don't allow her. Don't allow her. You need to always be engaging with her. There you go. Now bring her back. Bella, sit. Bella, sit. That's it. Good. Good. Watch me. With Bella finally responding well to Scott, Victoria takes the leash to work at an even closer range. Bella, sit. Good, focus. Blah, blah, blah. Let's come around. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, let's... Bella, sit. Good. Good. Down. Good girl. Girls, you want to just sit down on the ground? Good. I think it's really important that Bella is calm in different positions, so she's not always standing ready to be on the defensive that she can actually either sit or lie down in the presence of the thing that she fears. You see, even though this seems like, what are we doing? We're just sitting here with the dog lying down. This is a positive experience. The more experiences you can have in the proximity of children, the better. I think now we're seeing the importance of continuing to desensitize Bella towards children. We have a long road ahead of us, and we have a lot of work to do before she'll be comfortable around children. So we've really been trying to introduce Bella to children at a distance, and it's going really well. Belle, good girl. That's very good. We know that we'll always have to be alert and on our toes when children are around Bella, but I'm really impressed at how far she's come. Good girl. Melissa's taken the right steps to help Bella become desensitized towards children. 
I think Scott and I both feel more confident in terms of bringing home the baby from the hospital and um, introducing him to Bella. We also, I think, are much more optimistic about um, keeping Bella than we were several months ago, which is great. I'm really pleased with Melissa and Scott's progress. And if they carry on with the training, by the time the baby comes, I think they're going to be in a much more confident place with Bella. I feel like there's still a lot of work that Scott and I need to do, but we definitely have the tools that Victoria has taught us and the training methods that um, she's prepared us for bringing the baby home and for adding to our family.